Hi everyone, welcome to today's restaurant show and I have, actually this is the first time you've been on. Yes it is. This is um, executive chef and co-owner of Santa Fe, um, this is Sean Crosby and thank you so much for coming on. Not a problem, thank you for <laughs> I was, me. I was joking earlier that these are two no, these are not spring chickens on here today, right? <laughs> no, we are not, definitely um, not. We are not new to this biz, <laughs> And um, but this is something that is um, on your menu now and tell mm -hmm. us a little bit about it because this it's is perfect for the spring. It's yes, nice it is. Yeah. This is our uh, roasted free-range chicken. Okay. It is uh, roasted, and it comes with our uh, southwestern vegetables. And oh, our, yeah, right underneath there. Yeah, I see that. And our house uh, mashed potatoes. Those look so good. And I see all those beautiful herbs and seasonings on there. Um, yep. And what is airline? What does that mean? Air, it's an airline chicken breast? Is yes. that right? Airline chicken breast is... is what it is is a. Uh, it's a Actually, I'm going to go back this way because that's okay. what you're showing here, right? That's right there. Yep. It's a boneless chicken breast, and the only bone that is in it is the drum, which is right sticking here. Up. Yes, you don't see it very often, and I love it's, it. It's, it's, it's is very it something different. new? It's not new, but right. it's not a whole lot of people that use it. Exactly. It's it's. Because I've seen, I've actually saw it in Bon Appetit a few months ago, and yep. I was like, oh, it seems like a very classic way to serve it, mm -hmm. but it's, but it's coming. I love it. It looks gorgeous, and there's no bone in there at all. Nope, that's the, the only bone is the drum chicken up. Some, and that yeah, gives flavor to it. Because yep. I mean, everyone gets sick of boneless, skinless chicken breast. It's like, mm -hmm. ah, like <laughs> let's do something <laughs> fun to it, and that is gorgeous. And what are those beautiful um, colored vegetables underneath there? I see them under there, and there's stuffing in there. Yes. <laughs> Chef, there is stuffing in there. It is stuffed, yes. <laughs> Which, okay, so you have stuffing and, um, is that corn and zucchini, red yep. peppers? Yep. Oh, that's gorgeous. Yellow and squash. That. That's a plantain. It wouldn't be Santa Fe, right, without adding that beautiful touch to it. That's true. I love it. And um, lunch, dinner. Now, this is available only at dinner, though. Yes, correct. Okay, all right, good deal. So now we've talked a little bit about their fantastic dinner, which um, we'll talk a little bit and show your menus later on the um, early bird, because mm -hmm. you're starting those new menus. Yep. But you're gonna show us how to make one of my mom's favorites, sopa pias. That's but I don't good. know what sopa pia means. <laughs> <laughs> what does that mean? Sopa pia uh, literally means soaked in oil. Oh, okay, uh, yeah. So some people say that it looks like a, a pillow, so that's what it kind of looks like. Absolutely. That's, that's what it means, but uh, through the, research. The true I, meaning. <laughs> it means a dough soaked in oil. Oh, I love it. That's so good and pillowy, and it, it is, is good. good. Okay, so you're going to show us. I've never seen how to make these. Okay. okay, so what are we doing here? All right, basically, I, this is three cups of uh, flour. Okay, all and right. I, and I add all the dry ingredients except, and plus the oil. Okay. Which, which is one tablespoon of oil. Let me show that to them real right. quick. So you're just pouring that right in there. Yep. All right. I have two tablespoons of baking powder. Okay, baking powder. Uh huh. And I have two tablespoons of sugar and one tablespoon of salt. Mixed already in. Okay, yep. gotcha. So it's all, right. all your dry ingredients uh -huh. and then and the add, oil. And the oil. Okay. Then you add uh, two cups of milk. Okay. Whole milk, skim, does it matter? Or what's uh, your preference? We use whole milk. I it's and, so good. And, and basically, <laughs> Even just with Oreos, it's really <laughs> I mean, if you're going to do it, you might as well do it, right? <laughs> and all you do is, is uh, oh, kind of fold it in. Yeah, absolutely. That it seems and so simple. It is very simple. And you offer this as one of your desserts. Yes. And I'm guessing that we're going to go to TV Magic and we'll uh, be able to see what it looks like. But yes, so, okay, so basically. And, and then you're just going to keep adding a little bit more flour to it. Yeah, you keep adding flour to it until the dough pulls away from the bowl. Much like pie crust. Mm -hmm. Is that correct? Okay, yes. so same idea. And it's funny, but even though it's a different culture, mm -hmm. it really is a lot of the same techniques. Yes. Okay, so okay, so it's going to it's going to start to pull away and um but the amount of baking powder and everything doesn't change. It's just you're just adding more flour. Nope, just add more flour and that's all. Here's a good. question I have. Does it matter if it's all purpose or self rising or it, uh, Does it matter really? I mean, you're frying it, so... No, I don't well, think it really matters. Um, in, in this case, I know in yes. baking and things, it, it does make a difference, but... Yes, but uh, all we use is all-purpose flour. All, yeah, perfect. So it's nothing special that you would have to buy. If you, if you were going to be adventurous and try this at home, which, I, mean, I guess you're not investing too much in ingredients. <laughs> no, <laughs> if you mess it up, whatever, you know? It's, it's, <laughs> it's basically everything you have in the kitchen. Absolutely, in, in your pantry, ready to rock and roll. Mm -hmm. Great. Oh, look how easy you make that look. It's almost even like pizza dough. Uh -huh. And some people actually make it in a mixing bowl. Yeah, but so then you don't have to. Mm -hmm. 
Because that looks like a workout. <laughs> <laughs> But that's, I love, and that's it. Mm -hmm. Okay, so then, then what do we do with that? See, well, I would just put that whole thing in the fryer and we'd be good. <laughs> <laughs> what, what I'm going to do is just sprinkle some flour. Okay, okay. Again, yep. one of your basic techniques, just like if uh -huh. you were going to do pie crust. Okay. And just pull off, you know. But no but, butter. There's no, no butter in this. Okay, no, all about right. Three or, about three ounces of, a, of the dough, just the like dough. that. Yeah. Are you and just roll it out. Is that mm -hmm. from your house or the restaurant? This big? Uh, the restaurant. Restaurant. I was gonna say my kids would be scared if I brought that rolling. Like, Mom, <laughs> what are you making? <laughs> just roll it out like this. <laughs> That's industrious. <laughs> ah, okay. Then you can cut it into four pieces or six pieces. Here's my question, though. Uh huh. I always get nervous, like if I do a pie crust, if I if I'm feeling adventurous. Uh huh. Is it okay to keep throwing flour on there? Because I feel like there's a point where you have to stop putting so much flour on there. Oh uh, well. Does Wait, it, it affect it really? No. Okay. No, it doesn't. It just it keeps it from sticking to Ex the, exactly. the wrong pen exactly. and to your, uh, your cutting board. Yeah, absolutely. And all you do, cut it in four pieces or whatever. Okay. Dust off the, the extra flour. Okay. Throw it in the fryer, and, and you keep uh, splashing oil on it until you know they, oh. they puff up. Yeah, absolutely. Mm -hmm. Okay. So if you're doing, well, obviously at the restaurants, you know, we have the commercial fires. But mm -hmm. if you're at home, using just a, you know, a nice big skillet or a pan would be fine. Mm -hmm. And um, any specific oil, or is there an oil that you like to fry with? We, we use peanut oil. Yeah, I love peanut oil. Mm -hmm. Peanut, and why do you like the peanut oil? I mean, I, I know I like it for the fried turkeys, but what's with the peanut, I mean, peanut oil is fantastic when you want to do a long, 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 long frying or quick frying, it has a good flavor to it. Yes, it does. All right, so let's look at that final product before we take off here. And remember, you guys, they have um, some early dining menus. Check that out online. We also have a, um, their happy hour menus, too. So, And this is the finished product yes. with a drizzle of... Of honey and sprinkle of cinnamon. Easy. Simple enough, beautiful, light, mm -hmm. soaked in oil, but it's still delicious. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you so much, Chef. I appreciate you coming on and showing, us, and showing me for the first time how to make Sophia's. And we'll be back in just a moment.